I think when you go through a form of crisis, you can have a lot of negative emotions and attachment to the things that are associated with that point in time. Hmm. Again, that's not a judgment on a company or people or what have you, but you kind of have to remove yourself from that environment, put go somewhere new so those negative attachments are left behind mm -hmm. and you can start, you know, fresh effectively. So, you know, one of the things that happened with you was as you applied to a lot of companies, you started to get positive responses mm -hmm. and that went against your narrative of I can't get anything done, I'm yeah. a failure, all yeah. of those things. Tell yeah. us how that process Yeah, so I, I think I shared with you and this was before I, I actually really kind of I would describe fell off the cliff, mm -hmm. but I, um, I felt like it was time to even already early kind of make a change. I equated a lot of what was happening to me as being tied to my profession, which mm -hmm. I think is a narrow view that I had in the moment when mm -hmm. I was very focused on work. But I applied to a consulting firm and they accepted my uh, application and offered me an interview. Mm -hmm. And I literally broke down in tears because I was so shocked that they would even interview me. And mm -hmm. then what I found kind of going ahead another almost year when I actually went through the really difficult experience and kind of came through it and started to reach out to other organizations, um, it was having people confirm, hey, you're really interesting, mm -hmm. you're really talented. And even when I got rejected, which was frankly most of the time, <laughs> um, you know, it's, you have to take a lot of shots on goal, but even with rejection came a certain validation and a changing of the narrative. And mm -hmm. so I found a lot of um, kind of solace in, in that fact. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think it also started for me to frame, um, a perspective that, you know, a point in time mm -hmm. when things aren't going right, whether it's professionally or personally, doesn't define the whole story. Yeah. So I had to really kind of, and I think what looking for the new job did for me, it pulled me out of the view of thinking about a six month or a 12 month or an 18 month story. And it made me think about a 28 year or 29 year story. Mm -hmm. And that story makes the 12 months look like a blip on the radar screen mm -hmm. or as a part of an evolution and doesn't make it look like the definition of who you are. Right. So 